Also tonight, the two candidates vying to represent the 51st Congressional District faced off in a forum at Temple Emanuel, moderated by CBS 8's Heather Myers. This district includes central and eastern San Diego, as well as La Mesa, Lemon Grove, and El Cajon. CBS 8's Richard Allen joins us live now from Del Cerro with more on how the evening went. Richard? Well, that's right. Tonight's forum provided voters a chance to see incumbent Congresswoman Sarah Jacobs, a Democrat, go head to head with Republican Mayor of El Cajon, Bill Wells, on issues ranging from homelessness and border policy to abortion to anti Semitism. Now, one of the most important issues facing most Americans, definitely most San Diegans, is the economy and the cost of living. Here's what they had to say. We need to import natural gas. We need to look again at. Um at nuclear power. We need to look at making ourselves competitive. We have to bring uh, our jobs back. For every $1 that we invest in high quality early childhood programs, we actually save the U.S. government, we save the federal government $6. That to me is an excellent ROI and exactly the kind of investment we should be making in the future of our economy. And another hot button issue that definitely got heated at times tonight, immigration and border policy. Here's a little of what each candidate had to say on that. The way to get a more orderly and humane process at the border is to expand the legal pathways that we have. We haven't had real immigration reform since before I was born, and I am young, but I'm not that young. We need to go back to the policies where if you wanted to come from another country, you go to the country next door to you, you apply for asylum, you get a court date, and you go through the process. That way, the United States of America gets to decide who's coming in, they get to look into your background, and they get to decide whether or not you're a good fit for America. And I also had a chance to speak one-on-one -on -one with each candidate tonight. I asked them what made them the better candidate over their opponent. And here's what they had to say. I think her policies are, are policies that are a failed experiment that have uh, basically failed miserably. And it's time to get away from that and get back to some common sense ideas. I've been able to find ways to deliver for our community, passing bipartisan legislation on food security, on housing, on, you know, providing for our military service members and their families. And it would be my real honor to continue doing that in Congress. And keep in mind, during the primary, Sarah Jacobs got 57 percent of the vote. Bill Wells got 39 percent. Now, with mail-in ballots already being delivered, mail-in voting already underway, we'll see on November 5th what the voters ultimately say. Carlo and Marcella, back to you. Right around the corner. Thank you, Richard. And a reminder, if you missed that forum live tonight, if you didn't get enough in that story, you can watch the whole thing on our free streaming platform, CBS 8+. That's available on Apple TV, Amazon Fire, and Roku.